All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. Listen, the YouTube algorithm hates me, okay? So if y'all don't like the video, nobody is going to see the video at all, except for each and every one of my Jam stars, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Listen, it's so important that you guys like the video because if you don't like the video, the YouTube algorithm won't kick in. I won't get any views outside of the people that have notifications on and that are subscribed. And then after that, only 25% of the people that are subscribed are getting the notifications and are able to see it. And so, you know, like it, it is what it is, man. YouTube is, is systematically attempting to destroy my channel. That's why I gotta make the other channel and we're gonna do Easy Does It. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that, you're not even gonna have to look for it because I'm gonna have it so when you come to my channel, uh, I'm gonna do it just like Soul Illuminati does it. When you come there, the first thing you see is Spiritual Soul Channel. So you're gonna see the Easy Does It channel. Over there, we're gonna be playing games, all types of games, it's gonna be a lot of Call of Duty. Um, what else we gonna play? A lot of walkthroughs and stuff like that. You'll be able to see a lot of the personality come to life, man. And now, if you want to see the person that more of the personality come to life, let's segue. Check it out. Go to Breeze Tees. Get your tees in the Breeze when you come to Breeze Tees. We got the masks. Uh, you should be able to. You know, you can make your own custom mask. I'm gonna put it up there so we got all, all the Disney characters and stuff. All uh, their faces on the mask, and you can do that. But right now, I understand why a lot of people are not putting the customized mask because they really may not know what they want on it. Um. We got the customized shirts. You can put anything that you want on a shirt. Uh, you can put anything you want on a mug, put anything you want on a mouse pad. And if you really don't know what you want, man, come on with that JJ Reddick, shoot and shoot. The NBA is back. Go to the site, check something out. And uh, if you don't see something that you want, and if you really don't know, just uh, just email me. The, the email should be on the site. Ain't the email on the site? Yeah, yeah the email is at the bottom of the site. Uh, Oh, my bad. Hey, if you if you don't see something that you like, go here, click on inquiry, and if you're not, you know, exactly sure how to get it, get it done, you know, send us something, and then, you know, we're gonna take care of you right there. And, uh, you know, they, there you go right there. But anyway, I hit the wrong button, so sorry about that. Anyway, man, let's get to the 2K part of this video, man. A lot of people wanna talk trash about 2K, and rightfully so. There's a lot of things that have been going wrong for the franchise for years. A lot of things they have been getting wrong for the franchise for years. But this year, I do feel like they tried to make one change, and I feel like this change was an overwhelming success. And that change is this: these two categories right here. The splitting of defense into these two categories, I feel has made all the difference in the world. Like a lot of times you'll be playing this game last year, and you'd have, I mean, you'd have, it was just defense. Defense was defense, right? It was just you turn up your defense. That was it. There was no interior defense. There was no perimeter defense. There was no separation of these two things. So you had a situation where centers were locking down guards on the perimeter and uh, guards were locking down centers in the, <laughs> in the post. Another thing I, I do like is that they came up and they, and they changed some of the badges up defensively so it wasn't just rebound now you actually had box i don't even i don't know if they had boxing all that last year but you know it wasn't just rebound and it's just if how you want to be able to rebound and then it was you know you got tyler's defender pickpocket which i feel like is a useless badge interceptor that's pretty damn useless too to me i, I don't know man y'all let me know do y'all get i get a lot of steals with no i don't have interceptor or pickpocket on um and i get a lot of steals this, just just by timing. I don't use it. Now, this Intimidator badge is one of the best badges they put in the game. Really, they just took the defensive stopper badge and split it up into several, you know, into several different joints, man. And uh, and doing that, I feel like, I feel like that has made a big difference in how defense is played in this game. And I dare say, I actually like it. Not even gonna lie to you. I like how defense is being played in this game and how it's portrayed. Um, a lot of people may not like it because they may, I'm not going to lie to you. I was one of those guys and I will admit it. When I came out, I was like, yo, um, you know, you're going to have, you're going to have uh, a perimeter defense. I put the perimeter defense on my guard. This guard is going to see me right here with the three and D guard. Uh, I put perimeter defense on him and I didn't up my interior defense. And that's why at the end of the day, we're all getting hop stepped to death. We're all getting killed with the, uh, I, I wonder, does, does it still work? Nope, it still don't work. It does not work, does it, huh? Oh, I took it off. Oh, no, it ain't. Okay, there we go right there. 
Why we got Brutus Sam in my video, man? Anyway, um, look, that's one of the reasons that people are getting hop stepped to death. When you get beat and you try to get back in your back in front of him and he makes the layup over you, that's why it's happening. Because you didn't put interior defense in your bill. I feel like this is just how I feel. And that's why centers are getting splashed on on the perimeter. This is something that we realized early in the year. I was like, yo, the pick and roll is so effective in this game. And why is it so effective? I felt like the pick and roll was so effective because no center had put de uh, perimeter defense on their bill. And so most centers are out there with like 23, 34 perimeter defense. They put their steal up, but they didn't put their perimeter defense up. And when you do that, what happens? The point guard really just completely disrespects you and just takes the shot right in your face and it's over with. So that's why I'm saying like, and I think that's balanced. I think that you should not just be able to get things for free in this game. Last year, it was completely free. You didn't have to put anything on anything. It was just straight defense. And they gave you straight up perimeter defense, straight up interior defense. And it was to the point where if you had three locks on the court, your guy couldn't shoot at all. I couldn't shoot at all. Like defensive stopper was so strong that if a person on the court had defensive stopper on, on Hall of Fame, it literally made it so nobody was a reliable shooter anymore. And like, it wasn't just the aura. Like they didn't even have to be close to you. The only thing they had to do is just be on the court. And I thought that was crazy. Like people could literally be standing, standing. You see where I'm standing right now on this court? This guy could be standing there. I could be standing in the middle and he could be standing in the paint and he's affecting my shot. So the way that things worked out this year, you know, you got the, you got these badges, you got Intimidator, you got uh, Interceptor. Them breaking that badge up, the defensive stopper badge up and not just giving you everything. Like I swear, defensive stopper was clamps, Chase, the, oh, Chase Now Artist was not there. It was clamps, defensive leader, lightning reflexes, um, post move lockdown, trapper, Tireless defender, uh, well, rim protector was there last year. Pickpocket, it was pickpocket was there last year. Uh, Interceptor has always been a badge, I suppose. Uh, pick dodger was one, and uh, off ball pest, and probably heart crushing stuff like that. Like it was all that in one badge. And now that they, now that the badge has been broken up, you have to choose what it is that you want to do and what you want to be able to do well, how well you want to be able to do it, and things like that. So I feel like the vision of the badges. Like, I would like to see, I can't think of anything that I'd like to see anymore. Uh, you know, a trades up, green bean money team, splash down. I don't know what else I would like to see as far as badge division. But I think that they did an excellent job. I got to tell 2K when they do something good, because when they don't, when they do something, I don't want this to go back to the, the way it was. Let me know if you wanted to go back to the way it was. Does anybody want to go back to the way it was where defense is just defense? Because just because you're a good perimeter defender, Patrick Beverly, can can defend anybody on the perimeter. You can give him somebody that people think is bad. You put him on JaVale McGee in the post, and they say he don't got no post moves, even though he's a professional player. Look, man, Green Bean Money Team, tired as hell. How, how ask me how I'm feeling? Feeling tired as hell. Anyway, um, you can ask. You put Patrick Beverly on on, on him down there in the post. Look at that. I told you. You get steals. I don't have on no interceptor, and I don't have on pickpocket. Turn them both off because I felt like you just what. I bet he ain't got it on either. Anonymous baited me right there. But um, listen, big board. I ain't got on rebound chase either. But uh, you put Patrick Beverly on Javale McGee in the paint, and he's lunch meat. He's gonna kill him every time. Ooh, filet, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Hey, almost perfect on that one right there, sports solace. But anyway, like I said, just because you're a good perimeter defender does not necessarily mean that you're a good interior defender. And just because, you know, you put Paul George on LeBron in the post, he he, he might do well, he might not. You put him on Bo Bo down there, you know, you know it, it is what it is. But just because Bo Bo can block shots in the post and on the perimeter, that his blocking status high is not that he's a good perimeter defender, you just can't shoot over him. And you know, AI played the passing lanes, but AI's, AI's defense was some of the most suspect defense of all time. And so that's what I'm saying. I love it though. I love that you can make your player the way that you want them to be. But if you're trying to be, but you can, you can use some of your own ability to be good at something. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Was it a good thing that they made it like this where we have interior defense and perimeter defense, and you don't have one all-encompassing defense that just made you great, and uh, and we don't have one all-encompassing defensive badge that just makes you great. It's like, I feel like the more 
that we that you split these things up and the more control you give us the better the game has the potential to be i'm not saying the better the game will be but the better the game has a, has the potential to be because like i said last year when intimidator had the radius of the entire court and the court beside it and then it had all and you know and uh defensive stopper was all these bads bro i swear let's see what all every last because i think it was just rebounding um rebounding and i don't think it was no box or nothing like that like i prefer to box out and then rebound so i max my box out and then i got my rebound and chaser on go but some people like to just put rebound chaser because they never box out some of y'all need to because i don't seen y'all play center you never have you never hit the left trigger um when you're doing it but look last year it was off ball pissed um tireless defender pick not pickpocket it, it was intimidator it was clamps <laughs> <laughs> it was lightning reflexes. It was pogo stick trapper. It was like this whole category right here, except for uh, except for pickpocket and chase down artists. It was all this. All this was one bad defensive leader moving. It probably was moving truck and post move lockdown and all this stuff, man. It was all these badges in one. But now they split it up, and so you got to choose what type of defender you want to be instead of being an all encompassing defender. Like I said, Javale McGee don't even see pat beverly down there he don't even see that little dude and conversely if uh you know and and just like me and t was saying but if javel mcgee steps on the perimeter against pat beverly or or uh what's my boy name um uh james harden he lunch me and and really that's how they treat centers look at an nba game they either go right by him or they hit them with a heavy hesitation and then just pull right up over the top of them. Them guys don't be sitting there scared of no center. Center gets switched on to them. Hesitation, pull. Because they just don't have the perimeter defense. They lack the foot speed or whatever. Now, if you're really good at this game, you know, it really doesn't matter because you can play on the defense, perimeter defense. And like I said, I put the perimeter defense in my bill. And a lot of guards like T, we put, we found out that if you put the, uh, if you put the interior defense, you're not going to stop a big man but 50, I mean, 69-ish is enough to stop a guard and make him blow a couple of layups in that game, and you're good to go. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Did y'all put perimeter and interior defense on your guys? If you had a center, did you put perimeter defense on him? I know I did. Um, and then, like T, like he said, he had a perimeter lock. He had a two-way slashing playmaker, and uh, he put the interior defense on him. I wish I had a made the two-way slash and play, but everybody made a guard this year, so I really didn't really have a chance to do anything. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Uh, do y'all think that that's a good thing, a bad thing? Should we go back to the old way? Or do we think that the more that they split things up and the more that they give us, uh, you know, control over this stuff, the better it's going to be? I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Godspeed!